This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. I happen to enjoy watching prairie dogs more than perhaps any other animal. And I know I'm going to get tons of hate mail because many of my friends spend much of their time trying to get rid of prairie dogs. But they are endlessly fascinating. And nuisance that they are, they are really interesting little creatures. So watch with me, if you will, the next segment. Black-tailed prairie dogs, named for their black-tipped tails and dog-like bark, once lived throughout the Great Plains in towns that extended for miles and contained hundreds of thousands of individuals. The rodents excavate a complex underground system of tunnels and rooms that may be as deep as 15 feet, with horizontal tunnels reaching 10 to 15 feet long. The soil is pushed to the surface to create numerous mounds. They forage throughout the day with sentinels sitting upright, standing guard as the others feed. When a predator is sighted, the sentinel barks and the entire colony scampers to their protective burrows. Abandoned burrows provide homes for spiders, salamanders, toads, ornate box turtles, snakes, and burrowing owls. Black-tailed prairie dogs live on the high plains from northern Mexico to southern Canada. They are found in short grass prairies and rangelands of the western half of Kansas. In the spring, females produce a single litter of two to ten pups. They may live up to eight years. Prairie dogs feed primarily on green vegetation, including grasses, seeds, stems, and the occasional insect. According to Parks and Wildlife Office in Pratt, there is no closed hunting season on prairie dogs and no license required for Kansas residents. There is also no bag limit. A license is required for non-residents. Andy Chappell, wildlife biologist at the Cimarron National Grasslands, said that plague sweeps through the prairie dog population periodically. The last one occurred a couple of years ago, said Andy, and spread like wildfire, leaving less than 2,000 acres of prairie dog towns throughout the more than 100,000 acre park. Other animals, like coyotes who feed on the animals, seem unaffected by the disease. The Cimarron National Grasslands boasts not only prairie dogs, but some stunning western views, truly one of our state's treasures. Their offices are in Elkhart in southwestern Kansas, so give them a call and plan a visit. Welcome to the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center right here in my hometown of Oakley, Kansas. We're the front door of Western Kansas, located on three main highways, I-70, US-83, and US-40. And all those roads lead to history, beautiful scenery, and adventure, no matter which direction you go. We now have an IHOP that brand that you've trusted up and down the road in all your travels is staffed with local folks real people just like you and me and we're waiting on you to join us so for fun adventure fuel up fuel your body and let's have some fun <laughs> 